50 years ago today, the remains of Hurricane Agnes swelled the Susquehanna River to record levels. In the years since, communities along the river have gotten extensive upgrades to their flood prevention infrastructure. But the ABC 27 investigators have learned lofty plans to boost Harrisburg's protection from another Agnes-style flood never got off the drawing board. Senior investigator Kendra Nichols went looking for answers. There have been many proposals for flood control projects in the Harrisburg area. There were federal studies in the 1930s and 40s, but no action was taken. And then Agnes happened. Of any local cooperation, the project. This died is an ABC 27 report from 1982, 10 years after Agnes, looking at what was being done to prevent future flooding. And the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers was called on to develop a flood control plan for Harrisburg. That was almost 10 years ago. The flood control plan is still on the drawing board. The plan called for a 12-foot high concrete wall to be built along Paxton Street, stretching almost three-quarters of a mile from Cameron to Mulberry and Second Streets. The plan also included protection from the flood-prone Paxton Creek. It divides the city when it overflows, and the Paxton Creek will flood sooner and faster and more extensively than the Susquehanna River will. A proposal for a wall along the Susquehanna River was cut too expensive. Protection for North Harrisburg was not economically justified. And now, 50 years after Agnes, the $117 million plan still hasn't gone anywhere. I'm not sure why that wasn't um, actually implemented. Stacy Underwood is part of the Army Corps of Engineers Silver Jacket Program, which works with federal, state, and local agencies to reduce flood risk. She explained for the feds to fund a flood management plan, the benefits have to outweigh the costs. And the benefits in this type of project would be the uh, reduction in future flood damages to that community. So we would compare that with the cost of actually building the project. And if the benefits outweigh the cost so that the benefit to cost ratio is greater than one, um, then we could pursue it and actually um, cost share with the sponsor and implement the project. But if the benefit cost ratio is less than one, uh, federal funds cannot be used to, to construct it. It would have to be up to the local municipality. Underwood says she is not aware of any proposed plans for the Harrisburg area right now, but says big steps have been taken to improve flood information, which she says would be a critical advantage if another Agnes ever came our way. We actually uh, developed uh, flood inundation mapping for Harrisburg. It's a great tool to help emergency managers. It actually shows uh, where flooding could occur. Uh, it's tied to the National Weather Service's um, gauge, the, the stream gauge. The, so it really helps uh, local officials, emergency managers uh, prepare for and evacuate if possible. One of the big changes after Agnes, flood insurance. Pima says when Agnes hit, not many people had flood insurance at that time. So now we have regulated flood plains and flood insurance was made mandatory in certain flood zones. With the ABC 27 investigators, I'm Kendra Nichols.